First question is from Kyle Fenlay. What is the best supplement for or remedy for joint pain? I've been running a lot more on the street and have been experiencing some knee pain. Let's fix the question first. Because mm. um, usually, I mean, this is common, right? The first place people look when this they have the a source. problem is, let me, let me take something to fix that. Now, are there supplements that can help with inflammation, that can help with this kind of stuff? Yes. Are those things going to fix the root cause of the pain? Probably not. It's what your, your, your knee hurts probably not because you're not taking a supplement. It's probably because you're not moving in a way that is optimal for your knee. Now, more often than not, knee pain, in my experience, training people, comes from either you go up and down. It's either the hips or more commonly it's coming from the feet and the ankles. And so I'd say work on mobility on those and then see what happens. Well, this is what's exciting about the Prime webinar that Justin just did. Because this is this this and if you if you have questions like this, if you're listening right now and you're trying to get to the bottom of your knee or your hip or your neck or your shoulder or low back and you've got pain issues and you're not sure what it is, you should be in this webinar. It's free. Like absolutely. I don't I don't think I've ever had a client that it wasn't due to those things, Sal. Mm -hmm. it, 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 unless it was an, an acute injury, right? Unless somebody broke something, you broke something or Tore something. Yeah, it'd be tore. very obvious is how it, it happened at right. that point. If you're not sure of it, it's always, in my opinion, a movement issue. Mm -hmm. You're not moving properly, and then it's stressing a joint, right, or that's a right. ligament. So look into that, and that's why we, why we created Prime. That's why we also did this webinar for free is to help people assess themselves and get to the bottom of it. And something like that, it's not a – just one time quick fix it's you there's work to be done there and you got to correct those patterns which means it's going to take some time and some effort but the beauty is man i tell you when when you do it's amazing i mean i i battled with low back pain and bursitis as a trainer as somebody working out and has abs and looked all great and you know think everything on the outside looking in everybody thought uh must be in perfect shape but no nah, inside I, there i still had movement issues that I wasn't moving properly, and so I was still battling with the bursitis in my hips and the low back. It wasn't until I addressed all that, which took some work, um, but once I did, it completely eliminated that. So you got to get to the bottom. You got to get to the root cause. Make sure you're in the webinar. Yeah. Well, and I also think a lot of people just aren't really aware of – you know, what good proper movement and technique really looks like. You know, uh, I, I think that uh, people assume that if they can get into certain positions, that that's everything. Like this is, I can get into this position, but now all of a sudden I feel pain. How do I remedy this pain? You know, where where is the movement dysfunction? Where is that occurring? And you have to go through some bit of like investigative work for that. And that's why we tried to, we tried to simplify it as much as we could to really pinpoint, okay, if you can't move your ankle this way or your knee doesn't have this full range of motion uh, because there's restriction in the hip or there's restriction, you know, based off of like your feet stabilizing properly. Uh, you know, these are all things that are going to contribute to pulling your knees into a, an unfavorable position. Yeah, look, it's it's this is a very this is an analogy and it's uh, it sounds silly, but it's it's very similar. It's like somebody banging their head against the wall and they're like, man, my head hurts. Like, do you have any medicine I can take to help me with my head hurting? Or do you have a helmet I could wear yeah. so that my head doesn't hurt? And you're just like, just don't bang your head against the wall. When you're having these kind of chronic problems, find the root and fix it because no supplement, no medicine is going to fix that. In fact, we know this. Look, the most powerful pain-relieving over-the-counter things you could take are non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Ibuprofen uh, is one of them. Naproxen is another one. Studies actually show that using those regularly contributes to more problems, partially because it blunts the pain, the, the, the inflammatory signal, which is part of the heal, healing process. And the other one is probably because people don't fix the root cause because, oh, I take this pill, I don't hurt anymore, so I'm just going to keep mm -hmm. hammering myself. Here's the proper way to use supplements in this case. If your pain is preventing you from doing good mobility movements, I would say, Look at some supplements that can help balance out the inflammatory process. Don't block the inflammatory process with drugs, but see how, can, how you can balance them out. So fish oil, if your diet is lacking on omega-3s, can actually reduce inflammation. Turmeric, Turmeric mm -hmm. uh, is another one that can actually reduce inflammation. Organifi makes a supplement called Move 
that contain some, you know, holy basil and some other com components that have been shown to balance out the inflammatory process in the body. Taking that supplement, you'll notice general less stiffness. But again, I'm going to stress this. If your knee pain goes away because of a supplement, that doesn't mean you fixed why your knee was hurting in the first place. Right. Look at your mobility. Look at your hips. If it's your knee, look at your hips, ankles, and feet. The, the odds are that's where the problem's coming from.